Okay, so this got a lot of play on the interwebs. Pro-life act. Oh, you got You're... cut again. Don't touch your. Don't... I know. I'm All not. Right. I think it's when I move my head. Okay, right. don't move your head. Don't move my head. <laughs> don't speak. Don't do this. Okay. <laughs> pro-life act. Oh, got cut again. Say pro-life activist. Does damage control after whining about a baby she saved? Jamie Jeffries, an anti-abortion activist, was saying she talked a mom out of getting an abortion. Six months later, the child was taken away from the by the government, and the mother put had put Jeffries down as the quote next preferred placement, meaning if the mother wasn't allowed to care for the baby because. She, because she was undocumented or something to that effect, then Jeffries was next on the list. Jeffries said she was too busy, that the child would, quote, break her, and that it would interfere with her marriage and her health. Um, and this is an opinion inserted into this synopsis, but it says, instead of supporting the other woman's decision, Jeffrey persuaded her to do something that wasn't in her best interest, adding further misery to their lives month later, months later and apparently fusing, refusing to take any responsibility for what she did. A different placement was found for the child. I mean, I agree with the hypocrisy of it. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. So this woman... Um, her name is um, Jamie Jeffries, also known as the pro-life mom. I believe that's her handle on um, pro-life oh. wife, oh. pro-life wife, sorry. And that's what she calls herself. And then she has a quote on this group called, Are You Even Pro-Life? Where... She says that she, should we read the quote? Because it's pretty heinous. She talked to mom out of getting an abortion in February. Her baby is six months old now and was just removed from her family custody by DCS. And she says that um, it was a pretty legitimate removal in her opinion. It was warranted. And she said that... Um, she put me down as the preferred care. And then she's like, dude, no, 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 no. Literally, there's like that many no's. Yeah, I'm seeing it actually. There's so many no's. Yeah, a lot of no's and some exclamation marks. And then she says, this will break me. I don't have the exact... Text right, so, here. Well, okay, and interfere so, with her marriage and her health. Okay, so but what is it? What is the expectation? So okay, so I'm I'm actually just to be clear, I'm pro-choice, but I don't see why people. What's the hypocrisy here? So she said like she's she's pro-life. Um, by pro-life, they mean anti-choice, by the way. Uh, but she's pro-life, so but then this parent, so she convinced somebody to have a baby instead of aborting it, and now the baby is six months old and the mother can't take care of it. So they're saying, well, you take care of it. The activist who's pro-life take care of it. And she's like, no. And people are saying this is hypocrisy? Well, I think they're well, saying we that some of her reasons are very similar to the reasons why people will sometimes get abortions because I know but she will... wasn't the mother so like if she okay so I'm just gonna steal men at that their position even though I'm a pro-choice okay for different reasons but she could say like listen um yeah I so okay so she's saying I can't take care of a baby right now I'm too busy I can't take care of it right now people are like well this is why other mothers will not um, will want to abort their baby because of the same reason you're giving. And she might say, well, yeah, well, just don't use a, use a condom or something like that. I'm not saying... So she's saying, I am somebody that is busy and I was careful enough not to have a baby that I have to abort. And that's why I don't have a baby because I can't have a baby right now. Why are you pushing someone else's baby on me when I'm not ready to have a baby? I'm not... So she could say this doesn't contradict my pro-life position if you are careless enough to have a baby when you're not ready for it 
you should not murder they would say again i'm not saying this they would say you should not murder a baby you shouldn't just have shouldn't have a baby again i don't believe in this crap because i don't think if you have an abortion it's murder because a fetus is not self-aware so just do whatever you want with a fetus i don't care right but they would say this is i don't think you you this is a gotcha moment against her because like oh you're not you can't take care of a baby well this is why one woman have an abortion uh she's like yeah well i didn't have a baby that's because i'm not ready for a baby like i don't see i don't see the gut you in here well i see what you're saying and i think that point is valid i mean and as that you got also, cut again say that point is valid I, it's valid and okay. i think it's also some of the response that a lot of pro-choice people use saying well if you're if we're if you are anti-abortion to some of these anti-choice advocates then you should be advocating for birth control and, or you should be encouraging sex ed so people know how this works so they don't get pregnant and i think that that's a valid argument i don't think from what i'm seeing or at least how i'm taking it is that people are upset with her because she won't take the baby although some people might be saying oh you know they're not really pro life they're just pro birth they don't care once the baby's born i think what they're upset about or what they're reacting to is her emotional visceral reaction mm. when she was like when she was given the information that she might have you're yeah, cut Rivka, you really figure out the mic that, yeah, okay. that she didn't want doesn't yeah. can't take care of would break her marriage her visceral reaction was so emotional and right. so no 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 but she right seems not to understand that someone else might have that same feeling about not wanting to have a baby that it's this mic i might change the, should i change the headphones yeah change the headphones while i say something I all right I, i'll do it i say i think that this is uh again the reason why this is not hypocritical of her even though i don't agree with her on her pro-life or anti-choice position um the reason why i think it's not hypocrisy for example if you come to me and you like let's say um, you want to uh, for example i mean should we kill homeless people because they're a drain on society and i'm gonna be like yeah no don't do that and they say like well i mean since you're not for killing for homeless people would you take all these homeless people to your home i'm gonna be like no I, I i can't do that i'm not gonna do that sorry I'm like oh i mean you're a hypocrite so you only like you're not for killing them but you won't take them in your home like no yeah I, i'm not so wh where's the hypocrisy yeah I'm, I'm not for killing them also i'm not gonna take homeless people in my home that's not a hypoc there's no there's no contradiction here okay the reason why i'm an anti anti these people and the people that are anti-choice anti-anti-choice the reason why i'm pro-life is because fetuses don't matter okay fetuses don't matter fetuses don't matter that's all you need to know if they mattered all the positions of the christians are true okay like don't try to win a battle against them that losing battle right don't try to be like oh, it's a mother's choice it's a woman's body that's not a winning argument because if they were a con if they mattered then it's not a, just a mother's body it's not a woman's body it's two different bodies okay it's two conscious self-aware lives you can't be like oh her body her choice no, it's not just her body. There's a self of her being there as well. That's a losing argument. The reason why I'm pro-choice is because a fetus is not self-aware. So who gives a crap what you do with it? Do whatever the hell you want with it. Anyways. All right, I can't hear you, Rivka. You're left. Oh, you're, you're muted. Forgot to turn it back on. Right. Okay. Wait. So, well, yeah. Okay, go on. What are the comments? No, um, okay, let me see what the top comment. The top comment is, Dominic is, this is the problem for the pro-life movement. You want more pregnancies to go to them, but 
won't give a solution to what happens after a woman gives birth. You don't know that. You don't know that she doesn't have a solution. Just because she doesn't want the baby to in her home doesn't mean that she doesn't have a solution. I mean, I don't know if she doesn't have a solution. She apparently does. She claims that she does. Okay. She claims that this was taken out of context. She claims that she found someone to take care of this baby, that she's very involved in this baby's life. Apparently, she put out a picture of herself holding the baby. She claims that none of this, uh, I don't care about this baby, is true. And she even said something to the effect of, I, you, I couldn't get out of this baby's life if he, if he tried to kick me out or something like that. Mm. So that's her position. Mm. People like your idea better now, by the way, in both in Facebook and in YouTube saying so keep that one. Uh, Beej is saying, uh, Armin, uh, no Armin, are they taking other people into uh, keeping homeless people in their houses? If so, then your argument stands. He, well, I mean, or are they passing laws to, for, to take care of homeless people? So a lot of people say like, oh, pro-lifers are not pro-life, they're pro-birth because they only care about more births. They don't care about people after they're born. Uh, born. After they're born. <laughs> um, I, you don't know that, okay? You can't just be like, oh, all of them are like this. Some of them are like that. There's so many of them. Pro-lifers are, I know some Christians that take homeless people in their house. Some of them care, some of them don't, some of them oh, like, why are the Christians passing laws that don't care? Some that are against, they're not, they don't take care of people after they're born. Really, you really think all Christians and, for example, most people that say this are in the United States. Most, like, because a lot of people from the atheist community, when they hear Christian, they think right wing or Republican. Most Democrats are also Christian and they're voting for stuff. They're voting for stuff that you guys care about like they're voting for healthcare they're voting for government funded education or any all the other stuff that you think that supports people after they're born so no you can't just be like oh a lot of i mean a lot of them that are a lot of people that are for their pro-life so some of them seem to care about only birth but some of them no actually do support stuff that takes care of people after they're born as well again these are not winning arguments okay you can't just group an entire you know come up with a general view of an entire group of people that if they're pro-life they must also not care about all most of them or all of them also don't care about people after they're born the only thing you need the only argument that you need on your side is that fetuses are not self-aware so who gives a crap right that's the only thing. Every argument, every other argument against pro-lifers or anti-choicers is a losing argument. Every other argument is a losing argument. Um, but yeah, go on. I think people uh, oftentimes think that anyone who's anti-choice is Christian are Republicans because they seem to have hijacked a lot of Christianity to a lot of people. Right. So even to their own, even amongst themselves, even amongst Christians, they've talked a lot about this. So I think your point is valid because you can't paint any group with a broad brush, whether right. it's Christians, whether it's anti-choice people, whether it's Republicans, whether it's anyone. Hmm. Yeah. And every time you see like a pro-life, um, pro-choice debate, write this under their fetuses don't matter. Okay. That's what you have to write. <laughs> people are like wow man use that use that use that line that's cold bro <laughs> you don't even have to quote me just write that fetuses don't matter that's not cold fetuses... i'm saying people will say that it i don't think it is but right fetuses matter as matter as much as my salad okay atheists are under attack in many places if they were christians their voices would be heard if they were jews their voices would be heard if they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. 
انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.